Welcome back everybody. I know it's been a few days. Um, this is going to be more of a serious video. I uh, don't want to even uh, start off by, you know, acting like it's going to be happy or anything. Um, I don't want to wish my son ill will, but uh, in my opinion, I think Storyfire is going to fail. I was asked a few months ago to start a social media account with Storyfire and I was promised things like, uh, you know, uh, you'd get all these followers, you'd, uh, you know, have all these videos available, you'd be able to, uh, you know, raise blaze uh, that's what they call their uh, I guess their money value uh, to date I haven't seen any kind of monetary value from it I was told that I'd get so much for that I haven't seen anything the videos basically I don't understand it I don't I don't I don't know how to follow it actually the uh, the whole setup of it is kind of weird to me I know YouTube I've always had the uh, opportunity or the uh, ability, because I'm not that good at it, to follow along YouTube. I can type in what I want. I can find videos on just about everything. I just, Storyfire's just not been that easy for me. I just, I think it's glitchy. The, uh, I tried it on my iPad numerous times. I go to watch a video and it cuts out halfway through. Then I gotta have to restart it again. Things like that. I just, I, I and, and again, I don't wanna go against my son. This is my opinion. You never want to wish anything on your kids, but and I wish him the best of luck. But again, I just think it's going to fail. I don't, I, I don't know why you'd want to go against a, a company like Google. Google's all over the place, millions and billions of dollars, and uh, you're you're doing a startup company that uh, basically is it, going to fail. You can't go against these companies. You can't you can't start something from scratch, put all your heart and soul into it, all your all your money, all your assets and think you're going to win because it's not going to happen because that company will squash you. And I know, I know Jess did a lot of videos, uh, you know, on the, on towards the end of his career with YouTube, basically, basically bashing YouTube. And I didn't understand that. My philosophy has always been never burn a bridge, you know, before you, you know, leave because there's always that opportunity. You may want to come back. And towards the end, I, I think the so-called algorithm that he said was, you know, going against him, going against creators, and uh, you know, basically, that was what led him to start Storyfire. Make, basically, make a home for the the creators. They had a home. They still have a home with YouTube. And you know, the money that was made over the years has just basically gone by the wayside. And that's why we picked up the channel to keep it going. And uh, I, I I understand you want to you want your own venture. You want to make your you know strides in life, things like that. But again, my my opinion, and I'm old school, is that if you're going to start something new, continue what you're doing. Keep keep two jobs. I've always had two jobs, and and I've never thought that you know just to stop one job and then just go to the other one. I just never thought that was smart business. There's always there's been some uh, you know uh, discussion too in the family here pertaining to the uh, you know the creators on there. I mean you have millions and millions of creators. Uh, you know different types of uh, genres things like that on YouTube right now. It's it's very I don't know um, it, it, it's and I don't know how to explain it, but there's just not that much selection there And I know it's growing, but I just don't I just don't like the format the platform and you know the way it's set up and nothing against what uh, Jesse and Brian are trying to do, but I just don't agree with it uh, Looking forward. I just I, I, I just don't see the growth is going to be there the, uh, I, I don't know if the creators are actually going to come and visit this site. If they do, they're going to visit and then just go back to YouTube. That's where the, their bread's buttered. You know, if you're, you know, and I know that throughout the, the format of the year, CPMs is what they discuss of how much you're going to make per thousand views. There's really no avenue in Storyfire for these creators to make any money. And, you know, I see that, you know, in a couple, you know, a couple videos, I think it was, uh, one of the creators showed a check that they made $200. Well, I, I know in the past that in, in the videos that we've done over the years, you know, there's thousands upon thousands of dollars made. In comparison to 200 I just don't think people are going to make the switch. And, uh, you know, in another, you know, thinking into it a little more too, I just, I've seen some of these videos where they're creating this so-called dream team or, you know, work team for, for Storyfire. Now, I, I know these people. I know all of them. I don't think a lot of them have very much business sense. You know, I'm looking at Swift. I'm nothing against Swift. He doesn't have a business sense. You know, and, and some of the other people on there, I think they're just along for the ride, basically, on the shirt tails or coattails of Jesse and Brian. And uh, I, I just don't think that this so-called dream team 
is going to be beneficial in the business world. You know, it's all good for, you know, going out and have fun, taking, taking these, this group to dinner, maybe use them as uh, workers in the office. But I mean, when you're going out and trying to generate, you know, creators, you're, you're trying to bring them aboard, you're trying to get finance people, you're trying to, you know, you want to build this company and you want to build business. You, you create yourself or surround yourself with people that are smarter than, smarter than you, and especially in business. You want millions upon millions of dollars to come to you or people to invest money in you or creators that are big and you want them to switch over to StoryFire, you want to surround yourself with the smartest, brightest, energetic people that are going to draw these people in. And, and StoryFire doesn't have that. It just doesn't have the base. It's so glitchy. And uh, again, I, I don't want to you know, bash Jesse for all he's done because you know, it's, 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 it's his dream, but from a father's standpoint and, and speaking for Terry also, you know, I, I hate to see failure. Yeah, I don't understand the whole concept of the office space also. They, they're, they're out there doing these videos and they're searching for office spaces. And, and I, I've worked in the business world for many, many years. And I know when you're looking at office space, you know, it's per square foot. So these monstrosities they're looking at is all by square foot. And I know it's not cheap. You're looking at Cherry Hill, Vineland. Uh, you know, so these are hundreds of thousands of dollars for monthly rent to have an office space. Now I thought, you know, that the so-called story fire is basically a, a virtual world where you don't need to have all the space. I just think it's a big waste of money. And I, and I honestly think, this is just me again in my opinion, that when you surround yourself with people and friends, friends is a loose word I'm using here, they do suck you dry. I don't think these people are there for the right reason. I think they're here basically to get something from Jesse or from Brian or from Storyfire and I, and I don't know what it is and I will put my finger on it eventually. Um, here it is another thing. In the past uh, year or so Jesse moved out uh, you know out of our house, bought this big monstrosity of a house which I don't understand why he needed something that big. I guess it's to you know show that he was a big YouTuber and then he has to go and buy the Tesla and I don't know if he borrowed borrowed to get that car or what but why he had he had the 2014 Honda which was a fine car even though it was painted pink he still has the Toyota sitting behind the garage I mean so why would you waste all this money if your future is investing in story fire why would you waste all this money it, it just it just didn't get me. And then I find out the other day that he has a lien against the house now for story fire. So you basically put a lien against the property that you're living in for a business venture. You walked away from uh, YouTube that was paying you very good money and the family was involved in helping the whole way. So you walk away from your only income to do this and then put a lien on your house. I, again, I don't think it's smart business and I wish he'd have came to you know, or came to yeah, his mother and I, and uh, maybe even asked for it for a little, you know, honest opinion. But again, you know, we never have the opportunity to give our opinions because, you know, we're parents, we're old, we don't have, you know, good judgment per se. So I, a lot of this is really baffling to me. And, uh, you know, and again, I just, I wish him the best, but I just think he's setting, him up, uh, setting himself up for failure. And I think this is, this type of failure is, not only you know uh, temporary, but it's career ending. I said once once people realize that this this failure that you're going through and all the money you're wasting, all the money you're sinking into a uh, you know a platform like Storyfire is 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 basically going to be damaging to you forever. You're, you 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 can't build yourself back up from that. You get you can lose your house, you can lose your vehicle, and I know you can replace that. But again, in the eyes of the uh, fans. How do you go back to them and look them in the eye and says, you know, hey, I screwed up. I walked away from you. I abandoned you. And then I'm trying to get everybody to come over and visit me at Story Fire, and then it fails. I just don't understand the logic there. And uh, again, it's just strictly my opinion, but I, I think it's going to fail. And looking back at people that may have went against uh, the Google, you know, like a VidMe or a Go90. I mean, Go90, hell, we, we, we uh, sold the rights to the uh, family documentary to them. Now look at them. They had millions of dollars backing them, uh, both of them. And, and what happened? Google ate them up. So I, I, I'm thinking, you know, if you see that kind of past experience and then you want to go against Google, it doesn't look like you're going, it's going to bode well for you. I... Uh, 
again, I hope I'm wrong, but I, I just, I have a bad feeling there. And from, you know, from my past experiences, you, you never extend yourself out too far where you, you have the chance of losing everything. Yeah, another thing, and Jesse's claiming this is going to be the next YouTube. Um, I just don't think or feel it's going to happen that way. I said there's a whole, there, there's a whole thing. There's a process, an application process where creators have to come in. They have to submit a video, and then they're judged on how good that is. YouTube doesn't do that. You, you go on YouTube, you start an account. Okay, I, I can see if they're going to pay you eventually then they want to go by how good your video is but to get you on there what if i wanted to put a video on Storyfire? who the hell's telling me that i have to go through an application process i got more years of experience behind it with this with the videos than probably anybody on there other than jesse and they're going to tell me i have to go through an application process that's freaking bullshit and to tell some of these creators out there that may have, you know, 100,000, 150,000, or, or 20,000 uh, followers, and they're going to tell them that they have to go through an app application process, right there, that's a kick in the freaking face. So that would piss me off right off the bat. So that'd be one reason why that I wouldn't go to Storyfire. Ain't no way in hell I'd put an application in just because of that. And let's start on another thing, this so-called blaze. Uh, Blaze, I think I got, on, on my social account, I got like 100,000 Blaze, whatever it is, I don't even look. And it, cause it doesn't matter, cause what am I supposed to do with it? Originally I was told, I think uh, Jesse told me it was gonna be for uh, like for every 500 Blaze, I would be getting $1. So if I got 100,000 Blaze and I'm not gonna sit here and do the math and I, you know, kid around and say that I could buy a 30 pack of beer or whatever the case may be, I can't cash it out. What the heck's it worth? Oh, I got a, I got a hundred thousand on the screen, but it's not worth anything to me. And then, is there some kind of cash out process? No, there's nothing. It's just like the baiting, baiting the people with the so-called carrot that, oh, you're going to be able to do this in the future. Well, the future's here. You know, I, I got three beers left. I want a thirty pack, or I want two thirty packs. I can't cash it out. I can't do anything about it. What if my car needed an oil change and I needed quick money? I figure I got a hundred thousand blades. Why can't I cash that out? I can't do it. And for you know, from a, a person that's just starting out and they're promised this so-called gold egg of blades, and they're they're anticipating. Oh, look, I got twenty thousand blades. Ooh, I got fifty thousand blades. Oh, I got a hundred thousand blades, and I can't do anything about it. So basically, it's a, a, a bait and switch there, where they're baiting you into something and switching to nothing. I. It's very frustrating for me, as you know, as I get older, well, a lot of stuff frustrates me. So, but this really, really burns my ass, and uh, you know, I just, I just hope they correct the problem or stick to their word and make this a, a, a form of currency or whatever the case may be where you can cash it out. All these creators are looking at it and say, you know, I'll keep giving it to this person or this person will give it to me and they have nothing. So I, I just, what the fuck is Storyfire really? I, I, I anticipated when I was coming on to Storyfire that I would see something like storytelling. I got, I got gamers on there. I got a lot of social feed. I, I see very few videos. I've seen very little storytelling other than my wife's writing good stories. So, hi, do you write good stories? So, but yeah, there's also like a little bit of soft porn on there, which uh, that's okay sometimes, but it isn't Storyfire. What the hell does the name really mean? I got, uh, you know, you think it's sit around the so-called campfire and that's what the insignia is, is a fire. I think it's a campfire and you tell stories. You don't sit there and put up gaming videos. You don't, you know, talk about your, your daily life. I thought it was set up so stories could be told. I don't, I don't see many stories being told. It's more or less just an outlet for, I think, you know, and anybody and their brother to come in and go through the so-called application process, which is, again, burning my ass, so. Yeah, another thing that uh, is really hard to fathom too is the, the views that they're getting on Storyfire. In comparison to what used to happen on YouTube for Jesse, I think when 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 Jesse came to what left story or left YouTube, excuse me, when when Jesse left YouTube to go to Storyfire, he figured everybody was going to follow. So he thought all these views, the hundreds of thousands per video that he was getting to come over to Storyfire, we're going to follow him there. And and right now, I I think it's pissing him off because I think my Trump video that we did like that, that's about 150,000 views. And the other video we did uh, was like 140,000 views, and he's only getting 10,000 views. I, I think basically 
his fans think he's washed up over there. And where, did, where my opinion is, is, is it because the content was bad? Because he spent so much time bashing YouTube and he wasn't worried about his content. We, over the years, he had so much good content and, and, and thought-provoking content and towards the end, it just be, became a bashing of YouTube. And I, I, I didn't understand the logic behind it. Again, you know, I'm old school. I, I, if, if I'm making good jing, I'm going to stay where I'm at and do this on the side. And I just didn't think he thought it out. It was basically, um, again, I think he just was hoping and, and praying that all those people followed him. And I really worry that his future is looking bleak over there in Storyfire, you know, because, because his thought process was that everybody was going to follow him. They didn't. I just, and I think right now, I think Jesse's to the point where he's basically irrelevant. I, I think he puts so much blame on YouTube, and I think if he went back to creating good content, it would be better. I think he's just trying to portray himself as some uh, Zuckerberg, you know, and creating, you know, Facebook or something. I just don't understand it. He, uh, yeah, yesterday I was trying to use my iPad on the site, and and. Every time I watch the video, it would crash. And then I go tr try to use a search bar on, on the uh, on the site. There is no search bar. What? Every time I went to to Google YouTube, there's a search bar. You, if you want to search something, you, you hit it in. It's there. Right now, it's like a hit or miss to find what you want. And I, and I know they're using a lot of Google's um, formats and things like that. I think uh, one of them was like Vimeo for videos. I think so. Are they their own company, or are they basically robbing Peter to uh, pay the Paul, basically, and 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 utilizing Google to format their own company? I don't I don't understand the logic. I think if, if I was going to do it that way, I would uh, I would have built this company, uh, the the analytics, the computer base, and all that first before I started turning it out. Um, I wouldn't be stealing and utilizing other people's stuff to make my. My platform, great, you know, I, but again, that's me. Yeah, they say the format's in beta, and I, I think that means it's under construction. I, I, and again, I think I would have that all ready to go before I spun it out. And, and, and look at the ads. The ads are a pain in the ass because they're ads that I have no idea where they're from. They put the closeout X so tiny, I think I need the, the head of a pin or the head of a pen to close them out. It's ridiculous. I don't know where they got that from. And uh, I don't know if these are like part of Google ads and things. I, I don't know if they're stealing them from Google too, but you know, it's a possibility. But again, I think I would make the X a little bit bigger because they're kind of stupid and I want to exit out quicker than I need to really see them. There are a lot of, a lot of video poker, a lot of um, video slots. And I'm into video slots, but I like to X out if I don't like them. And they don't give that the opportunity. They want you to sit there and watch it for so many seconds. But. Again, with my eyes, I'm getting old, so I need something bigger, bigger X to hit. Just an opinion again. And let's talk about how this, you know, was set up. I think it, basically, if you look at it, it became like a little party party set set up for uh, Jesse's friends. You got Michael, Pickle Boy, Angry Grandpa, basically. Uh, Lance Stewart was supposed to be on there. I haven't seen anything from him. Michael and Jesse are the only two I really see. Boogie was on there. I think he quit. Um, you know, other thing, you know, people on there, shiitake mushrooms. You know, I like shiitake mushrooms, but I have no idea who these people shiitake mushrooms are. You know, so it, it, it basically, when, when you don't have that many people bringing in the followers and bringing in, the, you, know, the, uh, you know, the people that are going to watch your videos or watch your gaming videos or watch your soft porn, and it's just you couple of big creators, you're, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. And there's three big things there's there for me. There's no followers, there's no money, and I can't put up a video. Yo, I've been bashing the shit out of Jesse about Story Fire. The link's below. Um, reach out and check it out yourself. It, it, it may have changed. They may have you know, done a complete 360. I don't know, but give your own opinion. Talk to Jess through that. Uh, link this video to him. Let him see what's going on. Let him know my opinion, because God knows he won't listen to me. And, uh, you know, the big thing is, we're near 4 million subscribers. We're only 30,000 away. Big news, big time, big happenings. Uh, remember, at 4 million, I'm jumping out of an airplane, and I'm scared to death, just to let you know. So, either way, it's going to be big. And I want you all there for it. We're not letting anybody down. We're not walking away from YouTube, because YouTube is great. Again, hit the like button. 
hit the subscriber button. We're going to 4 million and I want you all there with us. All right, take care, have a great night. All right, see you on the flip side.